Censorship. We got to get into the fact checking thing because fact checking is one of the weirdest and craziest things that happens to us as a satire site. It's, it, pe people get particularly worked up when they hear the kinds of things that get fact checked on our website. And I want to show you some examples of that. In the fact checking age, like I said, jokes are no longer funny, they're false. And false information is dangerous. So I want to show you, these are headlines that we published on the Babylon Bee that were seriously fact checked and rated false. Uh, CNN purchases industrial-sized washing machine to spin news before publication. <laughs> now, this is not believable because it's not possible. It's one of those nonsensical jokes that's just silly, and you go, ha-ha. It's not really hysterical, it's funny, you know, whatever. Okay, CNN's biased. That got fact-checked by Snopes, rated false. <laughs> Facebook sent us a warning saying that if we continued to publish false information, our page would be demonetized and we would be deplatformed. As a result of this story, it's unbelievable. Trump, I have done more for Christianity than Jesus. <laughs> now, so back to what I was saying earlier about how there's a, a hint of uh, truth in, in every joke. This is playing on Trump's ego, right? He's got a bit of an ego thing. Um, this went viral on the left. There were um, prominent New York Times reporters sharing this, thinking it was real. Um, <laughs> and a lot of, they love to accuse the right of being gullible, and we buy into this stuff, and the reason the Babylon Bee is popular is because, you know, those crazy, stupid conservatives and Republicans are so gullible, they'll believe anything. When we publish a story like this, though, they share it like crazy. California Christians must now register Bibles as assault weapons. <laughs> kind of believable, right? CNN praises Taliban for wearing masks during attacks. This is definitely believable. And this got shared like crazy because people believed it. Now, who's that an indictment of? Us or CNN? CNN, right? Ocasio-Cortez appears on The Price is Right, guesses everything is free. <laughs> It says free down here. You know, Snopes did this lengthy thing where they like researched this and they watched the episodes from that certain day to make sure this didn't really happen. They interviewed a hundred people. It turns out this was Photoshop. That's not actually AOC sitting in that chair during this show. This was a fake story. <laughs> you know, if you want to feed a fact checker, donate to the Babylon Bee. We are keeping them in business. We're keeping their families fed. Pope Francis says COVID vaccine will now be required to enter heaven. <laughs> I think that's believable. I love this one. <laughs> Ninth Circuit Court overturns death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, there's two reasons I love this one. I wrote this one, and it was uh, named by National Review as the stupidest fact check ever. So the news organization that spent time researching this claim, they call it a claim, by the way. They always call our, our headlines claims. Uh, USA Today researched this claim. Joke. Uh, and cited 15 sources in their lengthy refutation of this joke. They checked the Ninth Circuit Court's website. <laughs> they called people, you know, they, they were digging, they really dug and tried to find out if the Ninth Circuit Court actually overturned the death. What would that even mean? Does that mean, <laughs> does it, was she resurrected? Like, it doesn't make, it's just like the washing machine story. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but, it's, it, per, it perfectly illustrates the lengths to which these people go. Now, it's interesting. Um, you know, Facebook 
Facebook, who we have constant problems with, we have ongoing current problems with Facebook, they're throttling our stuff like crazy. Facebook paid, if you scroll to the bottom of the fact check, the USA Today fact check of that article about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, scroll to the bottom, italicized font, all the way at the bottom, it says, uh, paid for in, in part by grants from Facebook. So Facebook pays USA Today to fact check jokes. The jokes get rated false, and then Facebook tells us that we can't stay on their platform anymore because we're writing false material. We're spreading fake news. It's this weird circular system where they're funding these fact checks against us and then dinging us for failing and, 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 and putting out false information. It's, it's, really, really, uh, it's really interesting and silly how, how circular that is. But I think we should assert our right to stay on those platforms, uh, and I don't think they should have the right to kick us off of them, given that they really do seem to be uh, the modern public square and places of public accommodation. This is, I, I write, I, I just make jokes on the internet, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, the media's treatment of the Babylon Bee. Brian Stelter. <laughs> he says that Babylon Bee is a fake news site. They call it satire. Um, this is, it's kind of a, a, re, a recurring theme. Um, where you know they're they're trying to suggest this is Donnie Sullivan he's a, he's another uh, a CNN personality they're trying to suggest that we're protect see satirical is in quotes scare quotes a lot of people sharing this quote satirical story on Facebook don't know it's satire <laughs> having a disclaimer buried somewhere on your site that says it's satire seems like a good way to get around a lot of the changes Facebook has made to reduce the spread of clickbait and information and misinformation. Our disclaimer is buried. Uh, how hard was it to find out that we were satire when you went to our website to find that about us? About right, right. The about section. Click on the about. Yeah. And our tagline is fake news you can trust. So. <laughs> but these reporters are really worried that our disclaimers are too buried. You'd never be able to know. And it's funny too, if you go, like I've shown you some headlines, if you go to, there's a lot of like really crazy photoshopped uh, images on our site that kind of give it away that it's not real. <laughs> this slide is only in here because it's cool. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the presentation, but Elon Musk said the Babylon Bee is savage, and so I included it in my presentation. 